Today we're going to be talking about the Sony FDR-X3000 and uh, some tips and tricks as far as getting better audio. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this program, first let me begin by welcoming you. I predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets, so if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. So the very first thing that I'd like to talk about is uh, this little guy. This thing is amazing. So if you've been out and about um, and getting some really bad, like, wind noise and things like that. Um, if you just stick one of these little guys right on the front, it's going to just cut down your uh, the, the wind noise a lot. So this thing is, is amazing. It, it's so good. I even use it on my point and shoot. And I'll have the link uh, below uh, if you wanted to pick up one of these. So that's great if you want to be able to use, um, you know, use this without an external mic. But if you do want to be able to use an external mic, the other thing that I found, and this I absolutely love, well, first of all, as, as some of you may know, I do use my um, H1 Zoom a lot. I use it for everything, and it's it's great because you can actually monitor the um, the sound waves and things like that to see if you're peaking or not. But um, but like with the Sony FDR X3000, it is quite small. Um, so to attach this with an external mic or even using this as an external mic, I mean, it's it's kind of big, right? Um, you can actually use this to uh, turn down the, the mic internally, and it's it's fantastic uh, because we don't have that luxury of being able to play with our, uh, with our microphone and things like that like we do on a DSLR. All right, so this is me using a lavalier. It probably sounds absolutely horrific and it's peaking and I know it sounds awful because I've tried it a thousand times. This is just a test of it with the lavalier. All right, so I've got the new cord plugged in and um, as you can tell right now, the sound is horrific. But what we can do is actually just adjust the volume down and adjust it down. And at this point, it should sound a little bit better. It definitely should sound uh, not as peaking as much as it was before. So all in all, I think this is a great little fix for this little device. Now at this point I'm using the Rode Video Micro um, and it's it's great. Again, I'm using the cord so I'm able to adjust the volume up and down and uh, that way I can make any slight adjustments that I might need to make. Now the other thing is uh, you may have actually left a uh, air conditioning unit running and uh, it's so annoying when you hear that after the fact and you're like oh man if I could just get rid of that air conditioning noise you can actually use something called audacity um, all you have to do is change your uh, video form you need to get that waveform and uh, that way you can literally like cut out that background noise or the air conditioning or you know whatever it is All right, so I've got the new cord plugged in, and as you can see, it sounds awful. All right, so the last tip that I have for you is to use Audacity. Audacity is a free program, and it is absolutely fantastic. So if you've got any hissing in the background or you want to cut some things out that you don't like the sound of, uh, this uh, has a lot of options. All right, so um, I, I just made a little clip uh, just to give you an example. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up that clip now. And um, I went ahead, and I already made it into an audio clip. I use Filmora, so Filmora is a very easy program. So you can change uh, any of your video to audio, and it's it's really great. If you'd like to see a tutorial on that, please let me know. All right. So the very first step is going to be uh, this is my sound my sound waves. I'm sure you're uh, used to that already. I'm just going to highlight um, what is the blank area or the no speaking area. I'm going to go into effect, and then we're going to go into noise reduction. And up here, um, we are going to click this, but uh, just check in your noise reduction uh, area. These are the decibels. So uh, you can bring it down more if you want, but you may end up losing some, um, you know, some of your voice talking. So about six is, uh, is where I keep mine. And I'm going to get the uh, noise profile now. So once I've done that, I'm going to hit Control A. That um, uh, that highlights the entire clip. I go back into effect and uh, repeat noise reduction. And you can see here that um, that background, background noise has been uh, eliminated quite a bit. All right, so I've got the new cord plugged in and as you can see, it sounds awful. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.